I've been wearing Varsalika gear and clothing for years without really saying anything about it. And so when I had a chance to start working with them directly for some Forgotten Weapons merchandise, I thought it was a fantastic opportunity. I've really wanted to get some higher quality items. A lot of merchandise out there is just made in China, generic cotton, sort of not quite throwaway, but close to throwaway stuff. And this is exactly the opposite. So uh, we have a pair of merino wool blend t-shirts, one black, one green, super comfortable, easy fitting, good in the winter and great in the summer too, which have living in Arizona, I can, uh, came as a bit of a surprise to me. It's merino wool, works great in the summer, um, doesn't get stinky, doesn't get too hot. Um, but insulates really well in the winter as well. Uh, same with the hoodies, merino wool, lots of cool options, huge pockets, you can hold all sorts of stuff in this. They look good, they're fitted nicely, and I think they're a fantastic product. Then we have a couple of items that we're doing that are not specifically apparel. We have uh, a line of patches, which I expect we're going to expand upon in the future, but we figured we'd start with the classic, only dropped once French patch, respecting the often maligned French military basic forgotten weapons patch, and of course, the Elbonia flag patch, something that people have been asking for quite a lot. We then have the cupola, oh, this way, cool forgotten weapons logo on it, classic piece of Finnish outdoor wear made from recycled plastic. This is uh, all of the camp eating utensil needs that uh, you would have. And lastly, an ukomati, which is a Finnish produced hip flask, stainless steel, uh, eight centiliter uh, volume to protect your valuable, valuable, nice Isla whiskey. So take a look through the shop. Hopefully you guys enjoy what you see. I'm really proud to be able to have this collaboration with Varostelika and have some really cool stuff for you.